Hey guys, welcome to another Spigot plugin tutorial and today it's on Skywars Reloaded. So many, many, many people have requested this and I have looked into it and it's a really cool plugin. And as well as that, it's free. So you can configure it a lot and change bits and bobs, create kits and loads of different maps and even change the lobby world. Um, and yeah, it's very, very cool. So first of all, we're gonna to want to set the spawn um, by doing SWR, set spawn and uh, this will be the place where players are teleported once the game is finished. Now we're also going to want to um, create a sign for players to join if they don't want to use a command. Um, so if you do SWR on the top line with square brackets around it and join on the second line, that will create one of these cool signs. Now if you don't want to use either of those methods, you can have a lobby um, and cover it in pressure pads and once players jump on that, they will be teleported into the game. And now you could, you've probably seen um, this spectate games item. So if there were games on here, you'd be able to right click it and spectate them, which is a really nice feature. So before we get into the config file and start configuring stuff, um, we are going to hop into the game and have a play quickly. So once we're in here, we get two items. So we could either return to spawn or open the kit menu and choose a kit and they've got different things. So uh, Lincoln Park is going to choose the other kit and I'm going to choose the soldier kit which I created. And obviously this is the lobby world, um, you could change that if you wanted. Um, it's really cool, uh, the worlds are actually schematics instead of uh, a full world with chunks and so many other things. Uh, which should um, decrease server RAM usage, I presume, um, as it's not loading in a whole world. It's just placing a schematic file into an empty void world, so that's great. And uh, luckily, Lincoln Park is over here. Now, as you could see, I had a chest which I opened, and these contain random items which you can set. So obviously the percentage chance of wood spawning uh, is very, very high and the chance of, say, a golden apple spawning is very, very low. Um, so he has the other kit which contains uh, diamond armor. But that's, that's no use if you fall off. So there's lots of chests in the middle. And yeah, that's how that works. So spectate players, well, there's nobody else left. Um, because the game has ended, I've got uh, points which I could spend in the shop because uh, there is an optional bit um, which allows players to buy kits. So I believe that is all the in-game stuff, so SWR usual commands, um, but I don't think you'll be needing any of the others. And yeah, let's hop over to the config file. There's quite a few, so um, let's go check those out. So here we are in my server folder and we're going to go into plugins and Skywars Reloaded. So in here you will have all these files once you've started the server and then you can just stop it again. And we're going to have a look at some of these. So first of all, grab the caves.schematic and the lobby.schematic and move those into the maps um, folder. So basically with this you have to make maps um, using schematic files. So if you made a map in the world, select it with world edit, uh, save it as a schematic and pop it in there. Um, the only other thing is uh, lobby has to be kept the same because that's where uh, players are teleported uh, before the game. So kits, let's start with this. So we're going to copy and paste this here. And we're going to make a kit called um, YouTube, YouTuber for people like me and variation vault and numero uno and whatnot. So um, let's do this and have an icon. So with this, you've got to um, have the correct format. So if I go into my Internet Explorer, um, we can see that these are all the different um, items and these are the correct way of um, using them. So instead of diamond boots, you have to have an underscore between the two words, and there's also gas tier, so I'm going to take gas tier and pop it in here as the icon. Um, and then you can change the cost, so I haven't got um, the correct economy plugin um, at the moment, 
but if you did, you could set this cost and people could buy this. And menu position, this is very important. Um, make sure they don't overlap or there'll be errors and confusion, so uh, two or one, because it goes zero, one, two, three, four, and then five, funnily enough. And down here, you can give them what you want, um, so maybe a bow um, with power or something that might be a bit overpowered on um, Skywars, but you know, that's how you do that. Uh, you can change these, uh, add stuff, and uh, down here you can give them different potions, which is really cool. Uh, potion effects, that is. So if we go onto here, pot potions, um, we can actually, if this loads my internet, it's terrible. I've said that many times. So we can go down to the bottom. Where is it? leaping so that's what we want jumping um, so if you took that um, and it's going to last for 30 seconds I believe um, and power the strength of it's going to be four so 300 seconds uh, that's quite a long time you might want to decrease that minus one I presume means infinite yeah okay good so um, yeah that's how you make a kit and players will be able to use that. Um, yeah, so these are um, over here plugins that I've been looking at and possibly going to do, depending on whether they're updated or work. <laughs> That's the main thing. Uh, now we are going to go into the config. Quite an interesting thing here, which is the minimum percentage of players. So if a map has eight slots, for example, it will require four people for it to start and that's quite a lot if you're me because I've only got me in Lincoln Park so I'd set that to about 10% so that's an eighth of a person um, which is quite interesting um, so yeah we can allow spectating or disable it I'd probably disable it if you're on a small server use economy that would be good if you actually got an economy plugin unlike me uh, points per kill you can obviously change this um, depending on the price of kits um, maximum number games, you could only have like two or something so people could wait and have games that have got full amounts of people. Uh, this is pretty cool, so these are the only uh, commands people can use while in game. So obviously forward slash god, you probably wouldn't want that there. But you know, lots of different things you can config here. Uh, voting time, etc. Direct to lobby, true, false. So it's very simple to config, but uh, very cool. So, uh, a couple more things is the chest. This is very important. And what this is, is um, all the chests in the map, they have a chance to spawn all of this goodness. So, in every game, uh, there will be six cobble. That's 100%. However, there will only be a 75% chance that there is 12 more cobble. So, this is really awesome. So, you could have a 1% chance of diamonds and 64 of them um, yeah so that's very very cool so there's one percent chance of ender pearl which is so cool um, yeah so first value is the chance obviously out of 100 uh, then the second one is the item so you can change these delete them add more ones and yeah that's very cool so down here is the OP chest now, if they have the correct permission, they can vote within the lobby on whether to use normal chests or the OP chest. And obviously, the OP chest uh, could have a lot more better stuff in. And my English is degrading as this video is going on. So, um, yeah, uh, this shop. Oh, no threat found. Fantastic. <laughs> Always click the wrong thing. So, this is um, the shop. When you die, you can spend points on it. Uh, such as ender pearl and armor. So I think that's what it is at the moment. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is about it. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you. You can download the plugin here on the download button. Um, if you want me to showcase the plugin, just comment down below. Or if you're a de developer on Spigot, just message me. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.